Hello boys, this is the Hydra Den today, finally, version 2, finally, yes. So, for this, we're not going to be using Zeal, we're not going to be using dragons on our character, I want to focus solely on making a caster on the Paladin, and seeing how much damage we can deal with that, because it's quite easy to make a hybrid build with this because we're focusing solely on on just o skills that are not from this class right so yeah this might be a bit different than what you're expecting or what you've seen and, and maybe other builds in the past but let's get into it boys okay so with the hydra din volume two we've got a reasonable amount in strength we've got a good chunk from gear we are using enigma so we've got a good bunch on that right dexterity is very low we don't need to worry about attack uh, attack rating or anything like that we're not hitting with zeal we're not doing nothing so save as much as you can vitality for the rest and i want a little bit of excess into energy because we're casting a lot this this build can have mana problems so i recommend considering insight mercenary you know to begin with now over to skills so combat skills we'll start with this we've got holy shield maxing that out just for nice and defense right um we've got 1.1 this down here to get to conversion now conversion is interesting i've been using it as a utility in this build so we're going to run around we're going to slap with conversion chance to convert is just flat right at 83 percent so we can zip around we can smack with uh, Hodo, which is just a predominantly a caster weapon, and we can confuse a mob. They're going to take aggro, and that is going to help us land firewalls and hydras and lay in our fireballs and teleport our mercenary where we need to to deal more damage and to proc his lower res. So we'll get through the rest of the skills and show gear, okay? Offensive auras is going to be most of our other stuff. We've got one into Blistane just for a tiny bit of attack rating to help with our, you know, land the other, what do you call it, conversion. Down here we've got Conviction, enough with our plus skills to get that up. So we've got minus 145. Now, over here, I've decided to put the leftovers just in max res. But really, a good option would be, you know, just 1.1 as in the passives, as, as a lot of Paladin builds kind of do, right? Uh, med meditation is a good option. Redemption is a great option too, because you do use a lot of mana with this, okay? Now, over to the gear. So, we're maximizing plus skills and fire damage, because this build is a fire build from the following three pieces of gear. We have the unique Paladin Shield, Dragon Scale, Zacharim Shield. So this gives us good skill damage, but also plus 10 to Hydra, the flat skill. So we're going to have a bunch of plus skills to amp that up. So if I go outside of town and I use my CTA, let's go out here quickly, quickly. We'll do this, we'll do this, and then we'll come back in. We can see that our Hydra skill is level 21. Not too crazy, but every time they shoot, it's going to be doing over 200 damage. And we have a massive chunk of minus to enemy resistances okay so it's bigger than you might seem now we've got a facet in there for extra damage and the other two bits of fire dam fire gear is we have a two-piece trang set so we've got a trang helm with a fire facet in there with the gloves not only is that giving us car shirt on the gloves which is quite needed on this but we get plus 13 to firewall which is the o skill plus 18 to fireball so if you look down here at the bottom of the screen we have the following level 21 hydra with battle command okay fireball is 29 and we have firewall at 24 so no i'm not going for something like mage fist just to get plus one skill it's better damage by far if we drop three on a helm right on flickering flame and one here for, for mage fist and we get firewall and fireball a lot more casting, a lot more stuff, but it's a much stronger playstyle, in my opinion, from testing it, okay? The third piece we need to get that combo of these is the Trangs. The Trangs belt. So, I mean, it's nice. We get good mana and life dump, and we get a bit of cold res on three-piece set. But that, that's that's really what we need, boys. So that leaves us two SOJs for plus one, Maras for plus two, just boots for res or whatever you might need. I don't even know if those are legal or not, <laughs> uh, but we got a Hodo for plus three as well, okay? 
Switch, we had CTA and a Spirit, and the rest of these is what you're going to expect. We've got Pally Skills and Nihilus, we need these, plus one is important. We've got Life and Res, and Offensive Auras to save us skill points into our conviction. That is it. And a Flame Moth, eh? For our Mercenary, I wanted him to deal a good chunk of damage, and of course I want some more lower res where we can, because that's a good way, and one of the only ways left that we can amp up our fire damage from these O skills. So, his plague is in his main hand. So we've got lower res when struck by 20%, that's very valuable. And we've got that paired with hands of justice for more minus fire res and, and life steal, Uriot's face, and a dragon armor, so he can get some hydras out there himself and deal some more damage. Okay, so it's quite an expensive mercenary setup. You don't necessarily need the stuff that's on there. I would say bare minimum plague. That's a good way to go. So we can start by using our conversion here or there. Firewall, chuck out some hydras, and then we can finish with some fireball. Just like that. This is on players one. Let me switch and just cast a couple of things again. Holy shield. There we go, let's get him. I want to find stony tombs. I want to find stony tombs. If I find a good chunk of mobs, I'll stop and I'll shoot them. Aha! There we go. Right, um, let's bump this up. We'll go gameplay to P3. Nah, not yet, bugger it, who cares? Not yet. Dead end. Man, I'm trying to like find a smooth and strong output just using hydras is actually kind of it's kind of clunky. Very clunky. Uh, one reason being is because when we cast hydras, we can only kind of key that on the right slot. So when we're casting hydras, as you can see, our conviction aura is not active, so we have to switch back. Um, firewall again is only on the right skill, so we have no conviction when we're casting firewall. That's why it's beneficial to have fireball too, which we can actually key on the left hand with conversion. Key back here, good. Get some fireballs up there in this boy. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is definitely a lot better. Man, the first time I tried to make a, a hydrogen build, I did that before Sunders were released. So, this is an upgrade already. Firewall underneath, conviction to get a bit of aggro, fireball to finish off and just keep your hydras on there. Use firewall when you need. So, firewall damage, we've got over 2,000 per second. You know, it's a good little chunk. Particularly if they're sitting on the spot and they're not going anywhere. A couple of those, a couple of these, a couple of the boys. Hell yeah, boys. I should, I should respec and um, put meditation on, but honestly, I couldn't be bothered. <laughs> I was playing it, I'm like, fuck yeah, this is fun. Let's go. So I just click record. Hell yes, boys. Oh, it's so silly. But, like, no one has ever made a build, like, just around Hydra on this, you know, without putting dragons on there and without doing all this. Like, just a sole Hydra build. Is it possible? Yes. I would recommend pairing it with Trangs. So you've got the firewall, fireball on there as well, and you just cast like an absolute maniac, boys. It's brilliant. Where do we want to go? Uh, I might do pits. There is some fire immunes in there, but it'll be. I feel like it'll be a good example to showcase uh, the confuse because there's more of the little boys running around. Could be fun. Could be fun. <gasps> Should we do Andariel as well? Oh my god, let's do Pits and Andariel. That's going to be so hype. She's actually weak to fire. That's so hard. Get 
gets a little bit crazy there, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, I'm so glad when you find like dumb shit like this that actually works, you know? It's so fun. Um, let's bump this up. Let's go P3 on pits. Try and get through most of the way of this. Maybe zip through the end, and then I want to try and find Indario. Hopefully that doesn't take too long. a lot of pressing this like back and forth it is kind of fun it is kind of silly you can change this into a telestorm zealer that that goes incredibly hard uh with dragon as well so then you can just kind of smack shit very fun but i reckon this is more fun ever seen a paladin build like this <laughs> oh it's so good oh uh, let's go kill andariel i'm i'm so about this build it is so good it is just beautiful um if you find that you're not really using firewall that much i would recommend dropping the trangs and getting a flickering flame on there that would be pretty big um, so I only have an ethereal one, so I mean we could do that, get rid of that, so we've only got fireball now. So fireball is up to 32, hydras are slightly more, um, but yeah, we got a bit better rares on there, you know, plus three, radio. Um, should we do that and kill Andari with that? P3. P3 Andario. Fireball's not the best, but, you know. Firewall does do the best single target damage. We shall see. No firewall, just Hydra, fireball, Hydra, fireball. Try and clear some of these other little mobs first and then get then get in Dario. So I want my Hydra is focusing on her when I do a one one shot kill. Come on baby. Come on honey. Here we go. More res. Here we go, boys. The real Hydra Paladin. 
goddamn beautiful. Your choice if you want to go fireball with the Hydra, if you want to do zeal with the Hydra, or you just get three-piece trangs and you just, like, get severe carpal tunnel while smashing out all your spells and firewall. It's pretty good. Um, firewall is a much better single target if you have something with stun. So, yeah, depending on your mercenary setup as well, maybe insight would be an option. Maybe insight, you know, um, what do you call it? Insight rogue with um, freezing arrow. You could freeze and then get them stuck on spots so more, more slowed, more chilled, more time spent on that firewall different options of crowd control but adjust that to your own liking boys but use this as you will i want to see some more hydra paladins out of the world you know I, I hope we can make this a thing see you boys